the next big conversation point and this has become a big controversy through today. In fact, for the last two days, especially here in Maharashtra with the Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister on a visit to Mumbai. And Yogi Adityanath on his visit to Mumbai has had a very, very busy day. He started off with the listing of the bonds for the Lucknow Municipal Corporation. These bonds got listed on the stock exchange. The government, they're clearly looking to raise some amount of money. Um, but he didn't stop there. Yogi Adityanath also met several Bollywood celebrities, big filmmakers, actors. Akshay Kumar was one of the big names that we saw who had a meeting with the UP Chief Minister, something that didn't go down well with some of the Shiv Sena leaders. He also met several top industrialists. And what has exploded as a big debate is a fight over Bollywood, which is ironical because up till a few months ago, it just seemed like the entire mood in the country was to blame Bollywood for everything in, in the aftermath of the Sushant and Rhea controversy and that it was full of villains. And now we have the Maharashtra government and the UP government trying to fight and actually fighting over who gets a bigger share of Bollywood. Now, how did it begin? It's because Adityanath, who was in Mumbai today, uh, has uh, tried to woo the industry with the new film city that they are setting up. There is a film city already in, uh, in, in Noida, in Uttar Pradesh, but a lot of that is actually to do with news channels and their headquarters. But they have another plan. And this would be a 1,000 acre of land on the Yamuna Expressway, about 60 kilometers from the Mathura Vrindavan, 100 kilometers from Agra, a film city park that will be developed on this land, well connected by rail and road, uh, near an upcoming airport as well. All of these are the pitches uh, that are being used by UP government and the chief minister to woo Bollywood right now. It's not gone down well with the Maharashtra government and the Shiv Sena leader and now our chief minister Udav Thakre who said he will not let anybody forcibly take business away from the state. So this has now become a big fight. Maharashtra is saying BJP is trying to take Bollywood to Uttar Pradesh. We won't let business go out of Maharashtra. BJP moved many industries to Gujarat as well. Now they're trying to do so with Bollywood. Uh, well, on the other side, Uttar Pradesh is saying biggest film city will be set up in Noida. It will generate jobs. Obviously, we're not taking away Bollywood all the way to Uttar Pradesh. We are just trying to set up a bigger center in UP. So the big question we are asking this evening, and I only have two panelists, so we can hear both of them out very clearly, is is it is it a problem if uh, the film industry based out of the Hindi film industry, largely based out of uh, Mumbai, which is the Bollywood, actually has some other big headquarters as well? Is the UP uh, chief minister and the government's intention to break the stronghold that some of the political parties have and the connections they have with Bollywood? What exactly? is going on here. Let's say good evening to Shaina NC, spokesperson for the BJP and Mahesh Tapase, spokesperson for the NCP joining us. Uh, Shaina NC, let's start with you. Is this a good idea? Uh, are we really talking yes. about taking Bollywood away or is it simply providing them an alternative? What is it that the BJP and the UP chief minister have in mind? This is so childish and so insecure. Mumbai is not the fiefdom of any political party or it's not a part of a legacy that has been given to somebody as inheritance. It is the financial capital. Yogi Adityanath ji is the chief minister of the largest state in the country. If he proposes to come to Mumbai, uh, for three reasons. One is obviously uh, what we saw at the Bombay Stock Exchange in listing of bonds. Second, to meet with the industrial uh, corporates who are obviously based out of Mumbai and we're very proud to have them as citizens of Mumbai. But that does not suggest that they cannot have industry outside Maharashtra. And third is that in Noida, and as you know, and you should know more than anyone else, that most news channels anyway uh, and electronic media are based in Noida. So it this is an extension of that. And to say that we are going to give you a red carpet treatment and give you a single window clearance, and it is your prerogative if you choose to come to our state where we will welcome you, is not taking away from Maharashtra. And if the Maharashtra government is really so worried, please give better systems, give better infrastructure and facilities in your home state, and then nobody will choose to leave. So this is not somebody forcing you and saying, come, I'll give you a lollipop and you come to me or somebody giving you some kind of a, you know, dole. It is about development of the country, which is far above this petty politics of my state versus yours. 
Why are you being petty, Mahesh Tapase? Good evening, Tanvi and Shaina. Let me say here that Maharashtra has always welcomed all good industrial policies and it's not the first time that a state chief minister has come into Mumbai to go and talk to industrialists and list his, the bonds of his uh, state and to also meet the Bollywood fraternity. There is nothing wrong in that and we as a state have never objected to that. The problem starts when there are political overturns to it. Since the time that the Shiv Sen has broken away from the BJP from last November 2019, there has been a constant attempt by the leaders of the BJP to malign the image of the government. It's not restricted to Shiv Sena, it's restricted to the government of the city, of the state. And hence, we again and time and again tell there is a, there's a problem between the Shiv Sena and the BJP. They could have sorted it out, which they didn't. And, we, and Shiv Sena broke its relationship with the BJP and formed an alliance with us. Similarly, it has been done by the Saad in the, the Shiromani Akali Dal. So why do you have to taunt the Shiv Sena if you want to look for investment or call investors? There is nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong. There is no reason to taunt the uh, incumbent government in Maharashtra and further your uh, financial or your political cause. He could have come, he could have talked to people, there is nothing wrong. People from Bollywood, they go to other countries. There are several film institutes and film, uh, the Ramoji Film Studios in uh, Hyderabad, it's so huge. So no, there is no, there is no reason. And I do not see any, any uh, big film uh, producer going to the Chief Minister of Maharashtra or the government of Maharashtra and saying, that you are not giving us good facilities to make cinema over here and hence we are going. So if Mr. Yoginath, Yogi Adityanath as a CM, he wants to come into Maharashtra, into Mumbai to solicit uh, the support of industrialists and the Bollywood, there is nothing wrong. But please, the political overtones absolutely discredit the entire action what he has done. What are the political overtones you are referring to? Simply to get back at your ally? and their former ally. Mahesh Tapasi, what are the political to overtones that you are seeing are avoidable? What are you referring to, that the BJP is trying to get back at Shiv Sena? The BJP since last November has been trying to get even with Shiv Sena, which is quite understandable, but not at the cost of maligning the image of Maharashtra. It's okay, they have their fight, they were together, now they are separate, mm. that's fine, absolutely with them. But why get Mumbai in picture? Why get Maharashtra in picture? We are here fighting with the coronavirus, we are all together, we have always solicited the help of the center. So is, there, is it wrong for a state government to solicit the help of a center? It's absolutely not wrong. And even in Maharashtra, we as a team, now irrespective of the government, whether it's the BJP government or the NCP Congress government in Maharashtra, we have always stood by for the welfare and the well-being of Mumbai city and the state of Maharashtra. So I feel it very strange when BJP spokespersons say that oh, my Mumbai is not giving good infrastructure to the film industry and Yogi Ji is giving so, so they all should go. Let the film industry decide who has to stay and who has to go. They are any which way they are going abroad, they are any which way going to other states. To uh, okay, filmmaking. let me take that point, let me take that point and ask Shaina because I am sure Shaina will agree to this. And it's not to say that Mumbai isn't providing the right kind of support system or the infrastructure uh, to the film industry or any industry for that matter. Shaina and see. But this is what I've been saying, Tanvi. I am, I'm shocked at this debate to start with. Every filmmaker or industrialist knows profit and loss. They are the ones who will decide if they want to step out of Maharashtra into another state and if it is easier to work there or not. Whether they choose to do so or not is that their own peril. So it's not as if one can convince each other or say that, you know, Yogi Adityanath Ji has come today and that's why tomorrow the entire film fraternity will shift to Noida. It doesn't happen like that. But if they feel that, yes, there is a huge advantage in saving of their expenses, better infrastructure, better facilities, connectivity, and it is an option, so be it. This is development of the nation at large. What is our Prime Minister? 
Minister always focused on whether it is Uttar Pradesh or the Northeast, development, better infrastructure, better facilities and better offerings. It is these kind of industries, whether it's corporate India or the film fraternity that create revenue and that create livelihood and that should be the focus of this debate. If you hear the kind of comments made by the Shiv Sena today, whether it's Sanjay Raut or it's the other uh, senior leaders of the party and I'm not going to sit here and sit and critique them. They're entitled to their opinion. But as Mumbaikers, it's not as if the Shiv Sena owns Mumbai or the people living in Mumbai to decide where they should be uh, venturing out into spaces of entrepreneurship, of opportunity. And I did meet with the Honorable Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh. He has said nothing to the contrary <coughs> or suggesting that, oh, you must come to my state or this is the only option. He has only said, we are doing this, which is hmm. in Noida, the film city. We are offering single window clearances with no red tapism and no bureaucracy to the corporate world. And we are listing in the Bombay Stock Exchange. Now, hmm. where is the controversy? That's what appalls me and that's what shocks me. This entire narrative to suggest that, oh, he has come and is taking what belongs to Maharashtra is a bunch of nonsense. It's utter rubbish. And the NCP and the Shiv Sena have both had very contrary hmm. opinions today, but that's another story. The three wheels of a rickety uh, rickshaw, when it falls, God only knows. But that apart, so let's not get the politics of it. I think any citizen or any chief minister of any state should be welcome into Mumbai, and Mumbai is the financial capital, and we take pride in that. And if there is an expansion, it is an expansion for the development well, of the there, country. Like, let's and let's not just some put it to this that when you hear uh, the of travel, and especially when he goes to factions. states which are not governed by the BJP, he definitely ruffles some feathers and he definitely uh, gets the opposition parties, whether they're in power or not, riled up, and which is what has happened in this case as well. Uh, thank you so much for both of you for joining us and really helping us understand what's going on here. Suffice to say, viewers, of course, there's an opportunity for everybody. It's it's not one city or one state's fiefdom, but Bollywood has been settled here for now decades together. It's not going to be so easy to create a film city in, in any other part of the country and move the business out of here. Of course, there's an additional option for those who may want to shoot elsewhere to go there. But one thing is for sure, one can sense a bit of nervousness even within the Bollywood right now. They're hoping they don't get caught in another crossfire. Crossfire between the political parties here in Maharashtra who would insist, we don't know, go to what lengths to try and keep the Bollywood business here. And now the BJP and Yogi Adityanath hoping to woo some of them over there to Uttar Pradesh, to Lucknow, to Noida, to shoot there, to set up their establishments there. Suffice to say, it's again a big fight between the BJP and the Shiv Sena. What remains to be seen is whether Bollywood ends up being the collateral damage here. Thank you so much for joining us.